I will now call this meeting of the Jacksonville City Council to order. I want to welcome everyone who's in attendance and also those that are viewing the meeting on GTN television. To begin tonight, I will, uh, we're going to have the Pledge of Allegiance. And tonight I'm going to ask an Eagle Scout candidate, uh, Mr. Ben Hall, who's joining us. He's with Troop 790, the Boy Scouts of America. And I'll ask him to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by the invocation by our City Attorney, John Carter. Please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our Heavenly Father, we as always give you thanks. Thanks for your blessings upon us as the city of Jacksonville and your blessings upon us each individually. Our hearts and minds are heavy this evening with the occurrence at the Washington Navy Yard. We pray that you would console those who mourn, that you would heal those who were injured, and that you would sustain us as a nation as we have to go continually through these acts of senseless violence. Pray for our military who are serving us here and around the world for their safety and for their anxious families. As always, we remember and pray for our mayor and for our council that your guidance and direction would always be with them. We ask this in your holy name. Amen. Thank you, Ben. Council, you have before you a copy of the agenda for tonight's meeting along with the consent items. We've been asked to take uh, non-consent item uh, number four off the agenda, and at this time I'd entertain a motion. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Hearing not all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Next we have meeting uh, minutes for the meetings of September 3rd, 2013, which is a special workshop meeting, and also on that same date, a regular meeting. Mayor Phillips, I move that we approve the September 3rd, 2013 special workshop meeting minutes and our September 3rd, 2013 regular meeting minutes as presented. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? The motion carries. Okay. I have uh, three presentations to make tonight, and I'm going to come around front there. I would like to ask. Uh, Captain William Lee from the fire department and also uh, Ms. Sherry Slater, our assistant county manager, to join me up front. And thank you both for coming tonight. Please. Today, the Jacksonville Fire Department, along with the Onslow County Department of Social Services, hosted the Pink Heels Day in the New River Shopping Center in Jacksonville. And, and I had the occasion to, to visit the uh, exhibition today and I was just blown away with what I saw over there. It's a uh, really uh, fascinating, uh, uh, fascinating display over there and for such a great cause. Mm -hmm. Since 2007, the Pink Hills tour has been bringing its pink fire trucks to communities from coast to coast. Five pink fire trucks were on display today at New River Shopping Center. The goal was to raise cancer awareness and to honor and support those who are battling the disease. This was the uh, tour's first visit to the Jacksonville area. And again, it was a very good turnout today. Um, uh, and, you know, the thing about it is uh, women who battle cancer, individuals who support these women, and those who wish to sign in memory of, of a woman who fought cancer were welcome to sign one of the vehicles. And I took the opportunity myself from my own personal experience. I lost my mother-in-law and my sister Two, three years ago uh, this year to cancer after long battles with the disease. And anything, as I said earlier this uh, morning, 
at the uh, New River Shopping Center. Anything that can bring that awareness and prevention can get us to that point where people don't have to suffer and those, that, those loved ones that uh, are deprived of their uh, presence on this earth do not have to feel that pain anymore. But uh, it's a great, uh, a great opportunity. It was a great opportunity to uh, see something unusual today. Never seen a pink fire truck before. <laughs> Ridden in a pink Cadillac in the Christmas parade. <laughs> Never seen a pink fire truck. But I have a proclamation I want to read tonight. We're as guardians of the ribbon Incorporated doing business as the Pink Hills Tour is, an, is a national nonprofit organization consisting of firefighters, police officers, and leaders in the community whose sole purpose is raising awareness for the fight against cancer. And whereas the Pink Hills Tour began in September 2013, encouraging public safety professionals, local leaders, and citizens throughout the community to wear pink in honor of all women and to join forces to help them in their fight against cancer. And whereas the spirit of this campaign is to fight for those who have lost the ability to fight for themselves, asking for public support and raising understanding and awareness to all citizens. And whereas anything is possible when good people devote themselves to a cause that does so much, so much good and benefits so many. And whereas the city of Jacksonville was honored to have the Pink Hills Tour on public display in the city of Jacksonville today, and I was, again, honored to attend and present them with a proclamation recognizing their efforts on behalf of cancer survivors. And whereas it is also fitting to recognize the efforts of our public safety department for their efforts to bring the Pink Hills Tour to our community and raising cancer awareness and honoring those who have survived or who are currently battling cancer. Now therefore, I, Sammy Phillips, the mayor of the city of Jacksonville, do hereby proudly proclaim Pink Hills Day in the city of Jacksonville, and I encourage all citizens to join me in commending them, along with our public safety department, for their efforts to raise awareness in the community. <coughs> and I want to thank you all for making that possible, helping make that possible today. <laughs> opportunity we look for opportunities to touch our citizens and uh, this was a day that we were able to do that thank you thank, thank you, you sir thank you sherry did you want to say anything on uh, behalf of the county i just yeah i wanted to i'm a little shorter than some of these folks sorry i uh, just wanted to thank captain lee and and the staff at the fire department as well as the city for allowing us to partner on this um, Consolidated Human Services for Onslow County was so thrilled to be a part of it. And um, I think we had a great turnout today. We had a great time. A lot of very moving testimonials came out of today. And uh, we're looking forward to doing it again next year if you'll have us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Mayor, one additional, uh, one additional side comment. At the request of the mayor and council, the Freedom Fountain was turned to pink this evening. And if you get a chance to come downtown and see the pink fountain, we would enjoy you seeing that. Great, thank you. Let's think about our staff picture, too. <coughs> Next, I'd like to ask uh, Ben Hall, who led our pledge tonight. Uh, I think your, are your parents here with you tonight? Your grandparents? You can have them come up. <laughs> you got your brothers here, too? Oh, bring them all. They can share in your accolades up here. <laughs> I'd also like to ask uh, Deputy Chief Trader. You're a big, you're a big uh, Eagle Scout. I think so. <laughs> you recruit him. Yes, sir, absolutely. <laughs> I'd like to say that Ben Hall is an Eagle Scout candidate from Troop 790. Uh, he planned, planned and organized a construction project to erect fencing at the Jacksonville Police Training Facility. Very nice. He facilitated the purchase of materials, developed a working team of 15 scouts and supporters of Troop 790, and led the team on a rainy Saturday to complete the project. The new fencing helps uh, maintain control of the different training areas when there are different groups on the site, and it also assists 
in maintaining the landscaping and enhances that, the appearance of the facility. For your contribution to the Jacksonville uh, Department of, I keep saying police department, it's now the Department of Public Safety. Okay, I have a certificate of, of appreciation to present to you along with a Jacksonville Police Department coin. Ain't that pretty? Uh, nice. Yeah, that's a keepsake. I don't think uh, you can use it. Uh, <laughs> I don't think there's any legal tender, but. <laughs> Thank you. Very much. That's been needed for a long time right there. Appreciate the work. That's that's really good. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's, that's, that's really nice. I, that's something we had planned to do for a long, long time, at least 15 years I know of, but uh, <laughs> finally got done, huh? Okay, very good. <clears throat> now I'd like to ask uh, on, for Minority Enterprise Development Day, I have a proclamation for that. I would like to ask Lorette Legon and your crew. I have my crew. <laughs> Always good to have y'all come over from the chamber. Correct? Hey, Megan. Hello, Mayor. How are you? How's that going? Good. Hey. In recognition of the outstanding contributions that minority businesses make to our economy, the Jacksonville Onslow Chamber of Commerce has requested the presentation of this proclamation tonight, which I'm very proud to, to read for you. Whereas the Jacksonville Onslow Chamber of Commerce in collaboration with Coastal Carolina Community College's Small Business Center have worked to facilitate the growth of local small and minority owned businesses. And whereas Minority Enterprise Day 2013 will be observed on October 4, 2013 by the Jacksonville Onslow Chamber of Commerce and Coastal Carolina Community College's Small Business Center to acknowledge outstanding contributions. And whereas small and minority owned businesses embody the timeless American values of hard work, integrity, and optimism, and contribute to the economic stability of the country. And whereas Minority Enterprise Day offers attendees the opportunity to increase awareness of programs and services obtainable through the federal, state, and local governments, as well as to network with small businesses. And whereas the Jacksonville Onslow Chamber of Commerce and the Chamber's Minority Business Services Committee will honor a Minority Business Entrepreneur of the Year and the late Linda Richardson, Minority Business Advocate of the Year. Now therefore, I, Sammy Phillips, Mayor of the City of Jacksonville, do hereby proudly proclaim October 4th, 2013 as Minority Enterprise Development Day in the City of Jacksonville and I encourage all of our citizens to join with me in honoring the important role small and minority owned businesses have in our society. Furthermore, I commend the men and women whose ingenuity, integrity, and innovative spirit contribute to the free enterprise system on which the American economy has, was founded. Lorette, I thank you very much. And I would like to We also want to thank the town of Jacksonville, the city of Jacksonville, sorry, Mountain Girl still says town, I can't help it. But anyway, the city of Jacksonville, they give so much to help us put this on. The Jacksonville Commons is the location, it's a beautiful facility, and the staff there, they help us so much make this event a success. So please join us on October the 4th from 9 to 1 and come see what kind of fascinating businesses we have in Jacksonville. And Million, I'll give you 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Since I was forced to come to the mic, um, I will share with you, I'm really excited this year, more than I've been in the, in the past years, and that's because Minority Enterprise Development Day has been noted as a statewide event. I had the privilege and the opportunity to be in the company of Governor Pat McCrory and Secretary of State Sharon Decker 
two Thursdays ago in Raleigh at the convention center where it's gone statewide. And um, I was sharing with the governor because I got to talk with him briefly. In Oslo County, we've been doing this for eight years and we're very proud that this community acknowledges minority owned businesses and um, please come out and help support and be a part of this great signature event that we host each year at the Chamber of Commerce. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you all for coming. And Lorette, we may be a city, but we're still town folk. <laughs> I'm going to take just a slight pause here for a second. Uh, I know some of you came uh, for the presentations, and I'll give you the opportunity to leave. Uh, you're welcome to stay for the whole meeting if you want. It's probably not going to last very long, but <laughs> you're welcome to stay. All right, Council, that brings us to our first session of public comment for the evening, and we do not have anyone that has signed up. And I will ask, as I normally do, is there anyone present that wishes to speak at public comment that did not get a chance to sign the uh, register? Okay, we're going to move along now to uh, agenda item number five, and this is a tour, uh, Jacksonville Tourism Development Authority appointment. Vacancy has occurred on the J, uh, JTDA. Uh, the position must be occupied by a person representing individuals who are affiliated with the businesses that collect the tax in the city. Uh, the original appointee for this uh, position has left the area. Uh, Mayor Pro Tem Mike Lazara is the chairman of the Authority Board of Directors. And uh, I'm going to ask you, Mayor Pro Tem Lazara, for any. Uh, nominations that you have thank you mayor phillips <clears throat> excuse me after um, some interviews um, i would like to recommend uh, miss lindsey thomas uh, for the uh, appointment to a term expiring june 30th 2014 and um, also rick young who um, who i would like to ask to serve as a shadow member for the authority uh, both outstanding candidates and will be um, will be valuable to the board and our work All right, are there any other nominations mayor I, I may add um, uh, Lindsay Thomas um, she is currently the general manager for the Hampton Inn uh, suite and um, Rick Young is the general manager for the sub, uh, suburban and uh, also a supervisor for mainstay hotel Great, great individuals. All righty then. Um, any other nominations? Move the nominations be closed and the candidates be elected by acclamation. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further comment? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed. That brings us to agenda item number six. This is designation, de excuse me just a minute, designation of voting and alternate voting delegates for the 2013 uh, North Carolina League of Municipalities annual business meeting. Uh, right now there's uh, two uh, members of uh, council are currently registered to attend are myself and council member Jerome Willingham and uh, we need a voting delegate and an alternate voting I would, delegate. I would move that the mayor be designated as the voting delegate and the alternate to councilman <coughs> Willingham. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. And I assume that there, I've not seen anyone else come in. Uh, there's no one else who wants to speak at public comment, so we'll forego that. 
Now we will start with the reports, and I'm going to start with uh, uh, Mr. Warden. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, just one thing. I, uh, I was saddened to hear this past weekend and beginning of the week uh, the, the, uh, the passing of Wick Bode. Uh, Wick uh, was very active in the Boy Scouts, uh, was a teacher, uh, very involved in, in science and uh, environmental education, but primarily I always uh, associate him with the Boy Scouts, uh, a Boy Scout leader for many, many years. Uh, Alzo County will, will certainly miss, miss him and uh, may he rest in peace and condolences to the family. That's it, Mr. Mayor. Thomas. Uh, yes, Mayor Phillips, just wanted to report how much I'm um, looking forward to hopefully seeing all of you and a lot of the folks at home at the Riverwalk uh, New River Palooza Festival this weekend at the Riverwalk Crossing. It's starting Friday night, I think about 6, 6 to 10, and it's going to run all day Saturday. I know Betty and uh, Sandy have put a lot of work into this. They've, they're molding this into more of a, a musical event, so there'll be a variety of music played throughout the evening and night. Nothing too disturbing, uh, Mr. Manager there, right there. <laughs> but uh, it's a free, fun, family-friendly event, and they've uh, ordered up some fantastic fall weather for this weekend. So well, that's great. Come see us. Yeah, make sure to get down there, folks. Yeah. Um, the Environmental and Appearance Advisory Committee is currently accepting um, business and residential appearances wars for the month of <clears throat> excuse me the month of October. So if you would like to nominate a business or residential appearance award to a business or to a resident, please contact the city of Jacksonville or go and visit the website to uh, place your nominations. Also, the tree board is considering a rewrite of the tree ordinance and is currently evaluating potential changes to the memorial program. And also the committee is also planning a tour with uh, city and excuse me with the city of excuse me with the Jacksonville Police Department in regards to the environmental crime prevention program for the city of Jacksonville That's it. Thank you. Mr. Bittner. just want to point out that the Civic Affairs Committee did itself proud in organizing the 9-11 Patriots Day last week in a very moving ceremony uh, very heart tugging, uh, per specifically to hear the comments of uh, Lieutenant Colonel Russ Jameson. Jameson, who spoke of the experience when he was in the Pentagon when the plane hit the Pentagon. And uh, I was glad to participate and glad to see many of our council people out there and county commissioners as well. That's all. Mayor Pro Tem Thank you, Mayor. I told Jerry that I didn't have a report, but as usual, I lied. So. <laughs> <coughs> but I'll try to be brief. Um, I'd like to give you a report on our TDA, uh, Tourism Development Authority. Um, I'd mentioned previously that we're working with North Star for community branding. Uh, our work continues with them, and we have another creative session that is being planned to uh, advance some concepts for a strap line or community moniker that will be used uh, with the art. We're still actively working on that. Um, as mentioned earlier, several of the first events of the new fiscal year are set for this weekend, as, as Randy uh, Councilman uh, mentioned earlier, the Riverwalk Festival and the New River Palooza, set for Friday, September 20th and 21st at Riverwalk Crossing Park. Uh, there will also be water-based activities and traditional festival fun at that event. Please, please join us. Uh, tourism development funds were used to help make runners aware of the opportunity to travel here to participate in the Marine Corps Half Marathon, which is set for this weekend. More than 700 runners have signed up in the expanded offering. Um, after several hotels um, have reported that many of the bookings uh, we're based solely on the new expanded offering. One of the items uh, the staff advocated was to make these races have a relationship with the area hotels and additionally for the events on the base to have off-base activities that would entice visitors to stay at local Jacksonville lodging facilities. Uh, the Marine Corps Half Marathon will have the racers packets available for a pickup 
at a Jacksonville lodging facility. Uh, in all, the authority has allocated $156,000 to organizations and festivals to develop overnight stays in Jacksonville lodging facilities. So the bulk of our, our program of work is heads on beds and creating and supporting activities that not only facilitate heads on beds, but are also um, great events for our local citizens to attend as well as, as people that come from out of town that visit our community. And we're making significant <coughs> progress in, in, that, in that area. Uh, our next meeting uh, is set for September 26th. Uh, we have Lynn uh, D. Menges. She is the president and chief executive officer of the North Carolina Restaurant and Lodging Association. And she will meet with us about tourism trends in the state. So I encourage anyone that's interested in that to please come join us and listen to the valuable information. Um, also, uh, Mr. Massey, Ron Massey and I attended the Governor's Military Affairs Commission, uh, representing you, Mayor Phillips. And uh, we look forward to serving on the committee. And uh, it was our uh, first uh, meeting, sort of an organizational meeting. And I will further bring reports as we progress our work in that area. And that's the end of my report. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, mine will be short and sweet. I had the opportunity Saturday to attend the uh, Senior Expo, also County Senior Expo. Uh, it was very well attended. Uh, they packed it this year. Uh, and I think uh, Councilmember Thomas can attest to the parking situation out of the county multi-purpose complex out there. He tried to attend far the farmer's, day, farmer's market out there, and it's it tough, tough parking. Of course, I understand you made a little money selling your parking spot. Right, okay. yeah. <laughs> I won't say nothing about that. But. Um, also Saturday, I had the opportunity to, to attend uh, an event that's dear and near to my heart, and that was a reunion of uh, local law enforcement from here in Onslow County. Uh, we met at the Jacksonville High School uh, Saturday afternoon from 4 to 8, uh, and we had some folks there that were uh, uh, some, of the, some of the old timers. And I, I'll mention some of the names that were there that, you know, uh, that some of the folks in the community will recognize very easily, you know, these folks having retired from the city police department and served, I think, uh, two of them started in 1954. So uh, we had the privilege of having uh, Gordon Bradley, who's a retired captain, Joe Sinek, both of those started in 1954, Captain Jesse McCombie, Major Troy Shiver, Graham, uh, Sergeant Graham Cavanaugh, or Lieutenant Graham Cavanaugh, uh, Deputy Chief Gene Jarman, Art Turner, and Ernie Lynch, all three of those attended. Jack Bright, who's uh, uh, our county, one of our county commissioners. Uh, uh, several people from the Onslow County Sheriff's Department and several uh, highway patrolmen uh, of them, Lonnie Spruill, Dirk Braun, and Don Cumbo, all uh, longtime members of the community here. Uh, and it was a great event. Uh, a lot of the food was uh, uh, brought in by the the attendees and a lot of it was donated so it was a very nice affair uh, and also I would like to again express my uh, thanks to the folks on the Pink Hills uh, display this this morning that was very impressive uh, for a very good cause and I want to thank the council uh, for entrusting me with your delegate vote for the uh, North Carolina League of Municipalities uh, convention coming up in October and with that, Dr. Woodruff. Mayor, just a couple of quick items. Uh, number one, the mayor and council are inviting the public to a groundbreaking ceremony, which will be this coming Thursday, September the 19th at 3.30. That will be on the grounds of the Fire Station 2 location that is generally at the corner of Indian and Gum Branch. Again, 3.30, the public is invited. There will not be a dedication of a pink fire truck, though, Mayor. <laughs> uh, two other quick things. Uh, on Monday afternoon, the Chamber of Commerce uh, conducted a, an unveiling of the Voting Rights Task Force plaque, which is to be located at the Kerr Recreation Center. This mic keeps going on and off, so I apologize. But uh, uh, that occurred this past Monday. I had a very good turnout, about 40 citizens. Earlier this summer, we had the dedication. Thank you, John. Earlier this summer, we did have the dedication of the LP Willingham 
plaque. Both of those are part of the Chamber of Commerce African American Heritage Trail. While the county government has supplied the funds for most of those, the city council, the mayor and council authorized the purchase of these two because they're located in the city, but more specifically because of their specific relevance to the form of government that we have. So we thank you for that. Uh, lastly, we would mention that uh, several weeks ago, a citizen mentioned the condition of Bell Fork. Uh, we, have had Senate, we have had the Parks and Recreation crews out uh, clearing the right of way in that area. We apologize to the mayor and council for that getting uh, overgrown, but that has now been accomplished. And as always, mayor and council, we thank you for your leadership and the dedicated service you give this community. Thank you. Mr. Carter? No report, Mayor. Thank you. Oh, there's our pink fountain. fountain. With that, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.